When the elephant is dead, it is put into a hole and covered. And after some time, we find all the ivory, the bones and the teeth, and, and that is very valuable. Formerly, big big kings they used to manufacture their furniture of ivory and gold and silk pad. This is the yes. and the rooms be decked with jewel, no electricity, no lamp. This is the description of Krishna's sixteen thousand palace. Who has got now? Sixteen thousand wives and sixteen thousand palace of marble and furniture, ivory and gold. Where is there? No? Therefore Krishna is the richest. Yeah, the, all the races were originated in India. Huh? The races were originated in India. All the races, the different races that are on there. India, what do you mean by not the modern India? India was the whole world. So all, all the different kinds of human beings actually were originated there. Yeah. As men, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, first, second, third, then fourth is the Shudra, and the fifth, Chandalas. No Vedic culture. They are Chanda. So the Europeans, they were Khatriyas originally. After Parshadam's massacre process, they fled from India to European side and Greece and Rome, they were given, I think Turkey also, came into two sons of Maharaj Jayat. They refused the order of the father. The father was very licentious. So he begged from two sons that you give me your youth. So they refused. So therefore they are banished in this part of the world. Into England? Nothing. Greece, Greece, Greece. Rome, Turkey. <coughs> Next to India, they were civilized. So European nests mostly come from that part. Caucasian, Kashyap Muni, Central India. Uh, central, what is called? Asia, Asia. Asia. Why it took Parsaram 21 times to defeat? They are not properly doing their duties. So Parsaram said, kill us. <laughs> Formerly, Chhatriyas were guided by the Brahmins, even Maharaj Yudhishthi. All the rules and regulations. Actually, the Brahmanas were the legislative assembly, and Chhatriyas were the executive, and the Vaishyas productive, and Sudras worker. At the present moment, there is no uh, director, neither executive.
some of them are only productive and some of them are worker, most of them. Therefore it is said, Kala Ushuddha Sambhava. And the Kalijo, mostly all the people are Shudras because they are workers. Hare Krishna. One can be purified. Even the Chandalas. Kirata Hunan, the Plin, the Pukkasabhi, the Sambhajavana Kasa. Javana Kasa. Javanas means this <coughs> European group. And Kasa, the Mongolian group. China, Japan. So Javanas were there in Vedic age only. Kal Javan. Kal Javan fought with Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> what is that? He was recording like this. No, just the last few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was listening to Shri Lepal. Uh, will the Krishna consciousness movement will take over the world eventually? Eh? Is going to take over the world eventually sometime during the Kali Yuga, during this Kali Yuga? No, that is not possible. We are, uh, only the fortunate person will so take. <coughs> I mean, but uh, will the power of the uh, Kshatriyas will be in the hands of the uh, Krishna conscious person sometime during this Kali Yuga? For why they you become very expert to preach? Unless you preach, I'm going to tell you. The Kali Yuga, Srila Prabhupada. Huh? Towards the end of the Kali Yuga, isn't there a description in the Bhagavatam? That one will not be able to see the sun or the moon? During the end of Kali Yuga? Yes, because of impiety. So there will be no vegetation. Is that description in Srimad Bhagavatam? I don't think. Well, I had heard, of course I'm not certain of the source, that because of impiety, the sun and the moon, people would not be able to see. So there would be no vegetation. And without vegetation, even animals cannot live. So eventually they would take to eating their own children. Is this what takes place? <coughs> yeah, there will be no food then. That is dead. No milk, no food grains, no fruits, no uh, especially food grains. <coughs> 